So in this triple sum, we're going to start with the one that's closest to the expression. We're going to sum over the k's. So we're going to sum from k equals 3 to 5 on this expression right here. So that means that the two initial sums, the i equals 1 to 4 and the j equals 0 to 2, are going to be unaffected for now. And in order to evaluate the sum for 3 to 5, I'm going to substitute k for 3, then 4, then 5. So if I substitute k for 3, I get 3i plus j, 3i plus j. If I substitute k for 4, I get 4i plus j. And then finally, if we do a 5, we get a 5i plus j. So summing all of these up overall, we get 3 and 4 for 7, and then 5 for 12 i's, plus the j and the j and the j for 3 j's. So after the first stage, we now have a sum going over i and j for 12 i plus 3 j. So second stage, let's go to the next one, which is j equals 0 to 2. So in this stage, I'm going to again keep the i equals 1 to 4. And in red, I'm going to substitute the j for 0, then 1, then 2. So if j equals 0, we would have 12i in this expression. If I were to substitute j for 1, we would end up getting 12i plus 3, 12i plus 3. And then substituting j for 2, we get 12i plus 6. So overall, we'll end up getting 36i plus 6 plus 3 is 9. So we get a 3 and a 6 for a 9. OK, is it making sense so far? Because now we have to do our last stage. Our last stage is going to be the sum from i equals 1 to 4. So if I were to place 1 in there, 36 plus 9 is 45. Uh, 36 times 2 is 72 plus 9 is 81. 72 times, or 36 times 3 is 108, plus 9 would be 117. And then finally, in the last one, when we plug in a 4, 36, 72, 144, plus 9 is 153. So we have to add up all of those numbers together. And to do that, I'm going to add the first and the last, which is 197, and then I'm going to double that. So that's 14. 9 times 2 is 18, 1, 9, 2. So it looks like a 394 is going to be my final answer here. OK, now why don't you pause the video and try an example on your own? Go here and try this sum over i, j, and k of i plus j, k. So assuming you gave this a shot and paused the video, I'm going to use the same color coding as I did last time. And we're going to do this one first. So I end up getting replace k with 0 would be, ah, uh, whoops, forgot to put my sums. So i got a sum i equals 1 to 3, sum j equals 3 to 4. And if I substitute k equals 0, I end up getting just an i. k for 1 would give me i plus j. And k for 2 would give me i plus 2j. So summing these up, it looks like three i's and three j's. Next stage, let's do this one. So still have i equals 1 to 3. And now in red, as I evaluate this one for j equaling 3 to 4, when I substitute j equals 3, 3i three plus 9, substitute j for 4, 3i plus 12. So it looks like here we're going to get a total of 6i plus 21. Okay, final stage. I'm going to add up now, or let the i vary from 1 to 3. So when I replace 1 for i, I end up getting 27. 2 for i yields 33. And 3 for i yields 39. So 27 plus 33 is 60, plus the extra 39 puts us up to 99.